Centuries for a Brighter Future is an exciting annual fundraising event that is quickly becoming the event of the holiday season. Here to tell us more is the Executive Director of Inclusion Advocacy, SENB, Connie Milan Savoy. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much for having me. Um, no stretch of this show. We love having you on. Thanks again for coming on. But uh, now it's a different fundraiser. We had you on this summer uh, talking about a band together. Correct. Uh, and now it's Trees for a Brighter Future. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what this, uh, what this event is about. There's, it's a gala um, with a live and a silent auction. Um, the uh, trees are decorated and the decorated trees are actually up now in, at an assumption place. These trees stay there to hopefully spur some interest for the next couple of weeks. And then we move them upstairs to the gala at the Delta and they are auctioned off live at the event. There's actually one tree remaining that could be still sponsored by somebody if they're interested. And that would involve them uh, providing the decorations and coming in and decorating the tree. So how does that all work? There, there are trees there that are in a, in Assumption Place, and then uh, so a business will go in and sponsor it, and then do they get to decorate it? How does that, yep. how does that work? Um, most of the businesses do that. Sometimes they'll ask us to do that for them. They'll provide us with the decorations. But most of the businesses have become fairly competitive. And if they've been to the event, and we have a number of repeat uh, businesses, they're trying to up the ante with the another business and put in a better tree. So these are really beautiful trees. Some of them have upwards of $1,000 worth of decorations on them. Wow, that's amazing. Um, uh, so beautiful trees, usually decorated by, by the businesses themselves. Um, I would imagine that uh, if I were to decorate the tree, it probably would look terrible. I, have, I tend to lean more towards like the Charlie Brown-esque type of... Well, somebody may be interested in that kind maybe, of tree. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so there's a tree still available right now. There's uh, one left, yep. So. Uh, <coughs> For, for people that are interested, if there's a business watching this that are interested, what's the best way for them to kind of get a hold of you? It's probably best to call us at this point, and that would be at 857-8899, and we would make arrangements to get them in to be able to do the decorating. Okay. Sooner the better, because... I imagine there's a, a timeline that's kind of... Well, the trees stay there till the, the gala, but we want to give some exposure to the businesses for sponsoring, so they can only stay there till we bring them upstairs to the gala, and that's on the 23rd of November, so. Right on, right on. Well, we're gonna get to the gala in, in, uh, in, in a little bit. I, I wanna get, uh, ham, or talk a little bit about the fact that this isn't uh, obviously the, the first time you do this fundraiser. This has pretty much become almost like a staple of the holiday season. How many years has this been? This is our 14th annual. 14th, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I imagine you must get a lot of good feedback from people that, that even just walking through is that, that, that space in, uh, at Assumption Place. Yeah, I think initially people were a little, um, Miss, to see things happening so soon, but because we want to give three weeks exposure, we have to back up that two, three weeks. But now, actually, we're met with a lot of, um, oh, this, it's the kickoff for this season in the uh, downtown area. So yeah, for sure. people are quite excited to see them. And when we're wrapping them up, because we kind of shrink wrap them to move them upstairs to the very small elevators <laughs> to get them up for the auction, people are disappointed to see them leaving. So. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine that uh, even by November 23rd, you're almost getting into the, the, the holiday season itself and to kind of see these trees kind of leave that space. The next day is the Santa Parade, so. But <laughs> if they want those trees, they just have to go to the gala and then they can, you know, bid on them. That and or we take advance bids on those so they could contact us and if theirs is the highest bid and nobody outbids them, at the gala, that would be their tree. Well, there you go, there you go. And of course, all this information, I wanna make sure we, we, we let people know, uh, we have the websites here on the screen. Inclusionadvocacy.ca is the website that people can get the information on. Yes. And of course, also through the Facebook as well. Correct. Oh, fantastic. Well, we'll uh, make sure that people go and check that out. But there's also something else going on at the Canadian Tire Store on Mount Road. Tell us about this. This is the second year the <coughs> Canadian Tire has partnered with us on this, and they provide us with um, access to fully decorated trees that businesses can advertise on. So they can, their business name and number and their logo is on those trees, and they're exposed in the, very vividly in, in the store, and they, um, they stay there from the 12th of November till the week of the 10th of uh, December. So that's approximately $250 a week for a business to advertise. There's upwards of 60,000 customers that go through the store during that time. So it's a fairly valuable opportunity for businesses to get that kind of exposure. And those, those monies come to our association. All of that, all of that money comes to us. So. Well, that's fantastic. And I mean, that's like one of the biggest, if not the biggest uh, Canadian tire, I think, in, in New Brunswick? It's in more than New Brunswick, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's so quite well, large, that's yes. fantastic. So, yep. Uh, and and the, 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 so those trees are already sponsored? One is already sponsored. There are six remaining that could still be sponsored. Oh, yeah. uh, so 
they do you want to give, you want to give a shout out who the sponsor is it's can, uh, the sponsor is Jean Coutu they're oh the ones yeah. that have already sponsored there you um, go. so yeah and so um, yeah so it's it's a wonderful opportunity and the trees um, that are um, auctioned and depending on what happens with these trees because uh, sometimes they're donated to other groups uh, we deliver those at no charge within the the region and um, Geldarts is actually, this is their 14th year, delivering the trees, the auction trees for us. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, that's great. Uh, so, uh, and again, website, Facebook page, people can contact you there and, uh, and you know, get, get a hold of you to get, yes. get that going. Well, that's fantastic. The chal challenge has been thrown out there, C companies. Get on this. Um, so that's a Canadian Tire Store from November 12th to December, uh, December 10th. So that's yep. fantastic. Uh, and then... Again, a lot of this leads up to the big gala, which is November 23rd. So give us a sense of what this night is about. It's a very festive night. Um, we have a festive meal. It's a sit-down meal. There's uh, the live auction and silent auction. So we also look for donations to those um, parts of the event as well. We also have some natural wreaths. Um, we have quite a number of those that we decorate. We will take some pre-orders on that. So if somebody says, I want red or I want green, Otherwise, they're going to take what we have. But we will take some pre-orders on those for the next couple of weeks. Um, we also have a raffle, and the raffle tickets are on sale now. WestJet is offering a travel voucher for two anywhere WestJet flies. So that's a raffle. And those tickets are $20 a piece, and there's only 250 being printed. Oh, wow. So that's another opportunity. There will be a 50-50 draw there. We have a surprise gift exchange that we're not going to say a whole lot about. Oh. But that will happen that evening as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite a nice evening. Um, people that have come in the past have really enjoyed it, and there's a limited number of tickets for that as well. So tickets are seventy-five dollars each. A table of eight for five fifty. A table of ten for six fifty. And it's a great opportunity for businesses to even host their own uh, Christmas functions there. And you know, it's a fun night. Uh, the live auction is quite lively. People have a, a good time outbidding somebody else on some of the items yeah. so yeah it's it's quite a festive evening and I can imagine that by now uh, it being the 14th year I mean it's, it must become almost um, like you know like a, a tradition for for some businesses and for some people to participate yeah but we're always looking for new groups to come in and experience this and so yeah again the tickets are on sale now but they're only there until they're all sold so yeah yeah for sure for sure well, that's fantastic and what kind of volunteer base is required to kind of pull these events off this is a big event. We've been working on it. Um, we initiate some of the work on this in August. So um, we need probably 30 to 40 volunteers as we get closer to that. We could certainly use volunteers now. Our association is extremely small. There are, myself is the only full-time staff, and I have one other contract staff who is assisting me with this, and then we depend on volunteers for all the rest of it. Wow, wow, well, there you go. More people. Get out there, uh, inclusionadvocacy.ca, and check out their Facebook page, facebook.com slash inclusionadvocacy.senb. Um, and, and of course, this is all fundraising money for your, for your uh, organization. Give us, uh, people, a little bit of, of an idea of, of what uh, Inclusion Advocacy SCNB does in our community. So we're a nonprofit uh, registered charity, and our mandate is to protect the rights and promote the interests of individuals identified as having an intellectual disability from birth to seniors and their families in southeast New Brunswick. So that involves everything from um, medical health, um, education, employment, uh, housing, uh, just participation and volunteering within their communities. So whatever in, is involved in people's lives, we advocate for and try to support and assist those individuals and their families to access the services and the supports that they need so they can have meaningful lives. The event is called Trees for a Brighter Future because that is what we're aiming for, is brighter futures for these individuals. Do you have an idea of how many people are affected by this in, in the uh, Greater Moncton area? Well, New Brunswick has the second highest rate of disability in Canada, and Moncton is the largest community in New Brunswick. And the disability rate out of the old stats shows anywhere from 7 to 13 percent, so we'd be closer to the 13 percent of the population. We currently serve about three, 400 families, um, but that's the tip of the iceberg. Wow. That is a lot of families for an organization that only has one person on staff. That, that's a lot of families, That yes. is a lot of families. Um, well, just a minute left, let's remind people again, the event 
is November 23rd. That is the gala uh, at uh, the Delta Beau Sejour, just over here. Yes. People can uh, right now go in and uh, sponsor uh, trees as, as it is. Yep, there's trees still available. They can uh, make donations. Um, they can purchase tickets. Um, and they can you know, offer to volunteer and help us with a number of different parts of this event. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very really much. Really appreciate it. Good luck on the event. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, make sure you check it out, inclusionadvocacy.ca, facebook.com slash inclusionadvocacy, S-E-N-B, an absolutely uh, fantastic group doing great stuff around the community.